Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing a full day of eating, but a little bit different to ones that I've previously done, as I'm currently not tracking and just eating a bit more intuitively, trying to fuel my body with lots of nutritionally dense foods, following that 80-20 rule. And I'm also eating foods um, that are going to benefit my cycle. So I'm in a bit of a rush this morning because I'm off to work, busy working day. Um, and yeah, I need to be there very soon. So I'll go into more depth further in the video, but just wanted to quickly show you what I've got for this morning. Um, so obviously I'm up and ready. Um, had a big pint of water as soon as I woke up. Um, and then I'm gonna have, I've got like a smoothie with like oats and stuff in that I'll have when I'm working before I train. So I've got this greens smoothie, uh, it's matcha, and then there's some frozen cherries in there, oats, um, water, and a little bit of milk, uh, coconut milk is in there. And then I've got my clear weight for when I train, and I have that during my workout. I also have made an iced coffee to have whilst I work this morning. So I'll have these two whilst I work, and then um, I'll train up my body after, before my next PT clients, and I'll have this during and then I'll have my breakfast. So guys, I'm back from work. I'm actually back earlier than what I would normally be on this day. Um, I've just had so many cancellations because of the heat. People have had heat stroke over the weekend and stuff. So finished my workout, did upper body this morning. Um, I you know, as I said on the last clip, I had my oats, green and berry um, smoothie whilst I was working with my iced coffee and then that was like enough fuel to get us, so it's basically like breakfast and then enough fuel ready for my workout so I did back and biceps after um, I was finished with my group training and then I would normally have um, my breakfast at work but I'm going to have it now so I'll show you what I'm having but before I do that now I've got a bit more time I was in such a rush this morning just wanted to talk a little bit about like my eating and stuff at the minute normally obviously as I said my full day of eatings I've been I've had calories on there where I've had a goal of either bulking or building and um, maintaining and cutting and this is not me slating tracking at all I will definitely track again in the future and um, it's just something that I want to take a break from and I do think that it's good to take a good break from every now and then and um, often what I'll do when I don't really have a goal is I'll um, and even when I do have a goal I do take like some days off because I do think it's important not to get too fixated on the numbers and um, but I just want to take a full break off it because it's been so long since I last done that when I actually realised. And because I don't really have like a physique or an aesthetic goal at the minute, I just want to feel good. Um, this would be the perfect time to do it. Um, it is hard to let go of that control. Like I am a control freak. I like focus. This is a different focus for me. And again, it's just adjusting to that. Like feels a bit like, ooh, but it is like necessary and me feeling like that makes me think it is necessary to have this break because I don't want to get like too obsessive where I have been years and years ago I don't think it would ever get to that point now but I was just in a bit of a negative headspace um bad body dysmorphia like talking very negatively to myself things that I tell people not to do <laughs> um and it happens you know no progress is linear um you're gonna have bad times bad days bad sort of periods and I do think because I did a cut and then just went back to sort of maintenance um, and I said I wasn't really going to track much. I was kind of still tracking quite a lot so I thought if I just move away from it completely and be a bit more mindful of the foods that I'm putting into my body, listening to my hunger cues, like what my body wants and what my body needs, um, I thought that would be a much better plan and still like give me some kind of focus for the moment. I think the last time I did this was like January 2020 where I literally didn't track at all for ages like so before the first lockdown and um, so it has been a very long time where I've had a full good break off it and again it's just one of those things in my head like I've got a holiday coming up in like five six weeks time and I feel like oh I should be tracking and cutting but yeah no it doesn't always you don't have to cut for a holiday either and again that's something that I preach like you don't have to um just I've, this is what I mean I've got into a bit of a silly headspace and a, and a mindset not silly like that it's wrong like it does happen but that's why I want to like not take control <laughs> but yeah like take control that's what I mean I'm a control freak but you know take control of that and actually do something about it in a positive way rather than let myself spiral and get into a bad headspace 
um, just want to feel good, like feel fit, feel healthy. And that's why I'm kind of going back to being more mindful of what I'm eating around my cycle. So if you see my previous video where I spoke about different foods to eat at different times of your cycle, and um, that's what I'm going to be doing because that then gives me some focus. And again, just making sure that I've got a good 80-20 balance with my life, doing workouts that I enjoy um, so I feel strong. And as I say, fit and healthy. So I'll be doing strength training and um, some cardio training um mostly weights training as that's my favorite thing to do but i still like to do cardio like my main sort of cardio is just walking I love going for big long walks um but i will obviously i teach spinning it's part of my job so that is part of my cardio but it keeps your heart fit and healthy like it is still very good for you i do think that even myself i've slated cardio massively in the past but just doing what i enjoy not putting too much pressure on having to do x amount of cardio and blah 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 um so yeah that is the plan so as i mentioned um in the follicular phase so i just finished um my period and um, see so your period technically starts from the first day of the bleed so technically this is phase two um of your cycle so really focusing on light foods to keep us nice and energized hormone levels are starting to rise at this point of your cycle um so should have more energy it's also really important to focus on cytoestrogens um or foods with those in and um, which mimic the natural estrogen that you normally have in your body but obviously levels are lower at the minute and uh, because of the hormone drop that you have um for your period so stuff like that as well and proteins and fats which obviously are also very important all of the time to help build muscle give you energy keep your hormones nice and balanced um, but they really help at this point in your cycle when your hormones are at their lowest and just to help um, give you lots of energy. So that's my main focus. Um, I'm pretty much eating, I did a reel on this on my Instagram actually, pretty much eating the same as what I ate yesterday because when I prepped, I prepped double um, just to save some time. Like Monday and Tuesday are my busiest days. So um, pretty much made double of everything that I could. So I'll just be showing you what I'm having. So my breakfast is just well, it's pretty much done. I'm just waiting for the toast. Um, and I'll show you what I'm having for my second meal. Another thing, whilst I'm peanut buttering up my toast, that I wanted to mention as well is that, obviously I've been tracking for a long time, so I have a good idea of like food quantities and portions and stuff to have. I'm not being too, again, like overly obsessive. I will still weigh some of my food. I'm not currently right now whilst I do this. But I do sometimes find that helps us to, over, uh, to stop me from like overeating with things like pasta because you know when you put pasta and you think that doesn't look like a lot and then you cook it and you're like wow um so think think i will be sorry put my teeth back in <laughs> i will be measuring out like so some foods um just because i've got a good idea of what like kind of quantity to be having um and i think it is important because for me i know that if there's food in front of us i will not stop eating until it's gone i really hate food waste so i would rather just not make too much um and also to just obviously to stop any food going to waste um so yes moving away from numbers but like you know again i don't want to be too ses too obsessive i can't speak too obsessive either side of the spectrum so i've got a peanut butter um and jam on some rye bread toast and um, so rye and peanut butter are um recommended foods for this part of your cycle so you've got nutrient dense energy sustaining grains and um, from the rye and then nut butter for the um fats that i was talking about there earlier also got some yogurt for some protein and um, some goji berries and then pumpkin seeds are another one that are good again for the fats and um, at this point of your cycle i'm gonna have this with my vitamins um, and i've also made a green tea just because i really like green tea just having a little work break, gonna have some lunch or dinner, where are you from? Um, so as I said, I basically just made um, twice as much yesterday. Um, so I have like a salmon pokey bowl thing. It wasn't really meant to be a pokey bowl, but I just wanted to include um, some foods that um, I said that were fitting with my cycle and that are nice and light and fresh. So I will show you. So got some salmon, so getting a good mix of that protein and fat. Um, and we've got olives um, for some healthy fats, lettuce, um, carrots, tomatoes, cucumber, and then some green lentils, which are all good foods to have around this time of your cycle. Help you feel nice and energised. These are also, a lot of these are like water foods, like cucumbers and tomatoes. So 
get extra water in, which is vital when it is as hot as it is at the minute. I can't believe how hot it is here in the UK. And then I'm also having um, a rebos, if that's how you say it, tea, which is one of my favourite teas. It's very bright in here. Um, I've just made um, some food before I go back to work. I'm teaching spin at night. It's going to be very hot. I'm not hopeful for a lot of people there. And then um, I've got my semi-private group training in. Um, so fueling up, I've made, well, it's supposed to kind of be like a pancake omelette thing, but it's more like scrambled egg. Um, so it's a sweet scrambled egg. So egg whites, cinnamon, banana, I've put a little bit of protein powder in there and then some frozen blueberries and honey. Um, I'm trying to move away from using things with too many artificial sweeteners in as much as I possibly can. It's very hard and obviously I've only been sort of doing that for the last two days so I don't expect to just completely move away from these things and I'm not saying that they're bad and I want to move away from them altogether but I do think that's probably what's causing a lot of my bloating and um, so I want to try and reduce it down as much as possible so I'm just trying to look at other alternatives where I can for those Um, but then I do like the taste of them which is annoying. But I don't want to cut things out completely because then I do think that can cause like stomach problems because then your body doesn't know how to digest them if I ever did have them again. And I've got to be sort of realistic about this sort of stuff. So yeah, anyway, I put some white chocolate protein powder in as well, so I'll show you. So this is my sweet scrambled eggs. It's just kind of like a two ingredient pancake recipe. Um, I just couldn't, I, I need a new pan basically. Um, so just turned into scrambled egg, but really, really nice, high protein, um, good amount of carbs in there, and lots of goodness from the fruit too, and just a nice, sweet snack, I think. Hi guys, so I've just been in the shower, washed my hair, <laughs> um, and I'm going to have some food, so I wanted to show you what I was having, so pardon the state of me, this is so funny, I've got my towel too, but I'll just to let my... Uh, some of the water come out of my hair before I dry it like I can't believe I've got to wash my hair on like the hottest day in the UK on what I think is on record Um, but because my sister's wedding in two days time it needs to be washed today otherwise it'll be too fluffy if I do it tomorrow like this wedding has messed up my hair washing schedule <laughs> so frustrating like don't know if anyone can relate but yeah it's got such curly hair like it'll be too frizzy so it needs a day to calm down with the frizz so yep here I am um I just made some well I say I made some food I just heated up some food from yesterday I just quickly um fried some veg fresh and then heated up the rest so I'll show you what I'm having so I've got chicken sausages and uh, some leafy greens and then courgette mushroom and grated carrot that I just fried up and sprinkled a bit of paprika on some avocado and then lemon and herb rice so this was nice and quick and easy to make after work and um, i like to just prep for a couple of days in advance and this tasted really good focus on having lean meats um so chicken maybe it's not chicken sausages but you know still chicken um i absolutely love chicken sausages and then also got avocado there um and then veggies like carrots kosher and mushrooms are really good at this point of your cycle too dried straight into my hair put some tan on so i've got a big old t-shirt on uh, for my tan I actually just realized that i've put my retainers in before i finish this video so my voice probably sounds a bit different now i just realized as i started talking i was like oops um i've just brushed my teeth and stuff and going to get into bed finally um but anyway thank you very much for watching this if you're still watching please like it and um, let us know below if you've got any questions or anything that i've went over that um might have been unclear that i've went through and just stuff that i'd know for future videos to make sure that i include sorry my shower's just trickling away there um yeah to include i'm going to do more of these at like different stages of my cycle and just talk about my um little journey with not tracking because it is tough mentally if you're used to tracking and things like that so just some tips and tricks around that but anything that you want to say please let us know below and as always thank you again for watching and i'll see you on the next one